we are here at LA1 TV and we're going to be bringing you all the latest news and updates over the next crucial 12 hours. The exit polls have been published and those show a very uh, remarkable uh, prospect of a Tory party being the biggest party but no overall majority. So many young people have actually gone and registered to vote for this election. I think um, the results were like 250,000 18 to 24 year olds actually voted for this election. Hello, I'm Joe McDonald. I'm here with Tom Hayon in Filed Bar live for LA1 TV. We're going to be right up to date with the latest information and interviews here from Filed Bar. The financial markets are showing that the value of the pound has fallen by up to 2%. Thank you for joining us today. We have Carl and Connor from the Conservative Society and Sam from the Labour Society. I'm going to be honest, it is. It is quite a shock to us. I mean, I'm not too shocked personally with Corbyn's campaign over the last few weeks in particular. Guys, exit polls out now. What are your th initial thoughts on after seeing that? It's pretty interesting, isn't it? Being told to shh by the crowd, so I better... The sh results coming in, it's Newcastle. Yeah! Newcastle Central has been called and it has gone to Labour. Just come outside. As you see, we've got our nice... It on the, wall. the fact that Newcastle Central has come first will mean that the Sunderland result should be coming in incredibly soon as well. And ITV have literally just tweeted that Labour hold Horton and Sunderland South. And the fact that the Labour share of votes in those two constituencies, Labour held them, the vote share went up. That could be a sign of people actually you know, starting to come round to the side that Corbyn could be a good leader but again very early on i see also you'll see here snp they've lost a considerable amount of seats and uh, nicola sturgeon will probably be quite disappointed if it does end up this way obviously still a long way to go now we have just had another result come in it is newcastle upon tyne east and guess the color yes it is another labor constituency in the northeast there this is unconfirmed so far just reports on twitter the Conservative hold despite a Labour surge there and I'm an absolute dismal night for UKIP. We will get that to you as soon as we can confirm that. There you go, the first blue seat is on the map. Strong and stable. Good old strong and stable leadership that will be. This is actually the first North West seat to declare. Uh, did you two vote did you two vote today? Yeah. A couple of Labour voters over there. Have you have you been following the results so far tonight? first time we have some colours that are not red and are not blue. Let's take a look at somewhere else on the map. There is an SNP seat up in Scotland. This is Paisley and Renfrewshire. Wow. And I'm going to give you the numbers and I want you to give me the first guess on a percentage. <laughs> okay. Let's Go. see how good the maths is. Do any of you do maths degrees? No. That's good. Um, so, <laughs> out of 58,171, right. The Labour Party got 34,694. First guess on a percentage, 5, 4, 3, 2, 65. 1, go. 61. 61? 55. 55. 64. 64. 62. Uh, you're closest there, 59.64%. It's going to be a lot closer than people initially expected. And I think that's quite largely down to how the campaigns have gone for both leaders, with Jeremy Corbyn having a much more positive campaign and Theresa May obviously having a much more negative campaign, not even sort of, in a way, you could argue she didn't take it too seriously, not wanting to go on TV debates, etc. So it's sure to be a much more interesting um, election, this one, than it was expected. And it looks like there are just two um, constituencies that are not either Labour or Conservative in Wales. Uh, overall, uh, what, from what I'm seeing uh, here on this graphic, is that Labour so far overall have gained seven seats, uh, the SNP have lost five seats, and the Conservatives and Liberal Democrats are still on zero. Nope, sorry, the Liberal Democrats have lost a seat and that went to the Conservative Party. We now actually on the, on the screen here have, uh, we've borrowed this from our friends at ITV <laughs> News, their result predicted um, at 2.38. Now that's very interesting because that doesn't look as close as the exit polls said it was going to be. So there's still a huge amount of constituencies 
to declare. If we look at the total numbers, you can see on the bottom of your screen there, 131 to Labour, 109 to the Conservatives, 15 uh, to the SNP. The SNP have lost eight seats, Labour have gained 12, and the Conservatives have gained 12 as well. So we're getting towards the middle of the, of the night now. We've got, we're getting, in fact, just 282 seats have uh, declared now. We're now joined by Rhiannon Jones, the current Lucy president, and Josh Wolf, the incoming Lucy president. Thank you for being here, guys. No problem at all. In the end, it's I'm just... I'm so sorry. I've got to stop you. We've actually got here some news are. that we've got. Ah. The Lancaster Council here. So we see Cap Smith Ooh. and Eric. The votes are coming in now. Susan Fossey? Yeah. Have we got any volume? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Liberal Democrats, 1,170. Party is just about neck and neck uh, with the Conservative Party. We still have another five hours to go though. I can see Luke behind the camera has just put his head in his hands. I'm not sure he's going to make it, but we're going to try as hard as we can to make it through till half past nine in the morning. What we can see from this is that really the, the biggest thing is that people in the older age brackets, so that's the 60 plus, 50 to 59, uh, they tend to be more conservative leaning in their voting. The SNP in Scotland, we have had the uh, results in for another sh shock that Alex Salmond, former leader of the SNP, has lost his seat. Got one here from um, The Times, and if you open up to page one and three, it unfolds into a prediction of the map. As you can see, very big there, mainly blue. Yes, we've been on air so long, the sun has come up and it is light. The panda just comes across there, in that window in there, you're going to see the crew all giving us a wave, stuffing their faces with pizza and uh, Red Bull, I think it is. In there is Luke getting ready for me to hand over to him when I run out of things to say, so he can have a little bit of a chat for a bit. Luke, Luke give us a wave out the window, mate. <laughs> there he is. So uh, it's about half five we've been streaming since uh since about half nine last night and it's uh <clears throat> it's going well so far at the moment uh as the exit poll predicted earlier on in the night we are probably going to finish tonight without a majority government without a party having the 326 seats to form a majority government we've got another tweet now behind me and it's from Ed Miliband, who managed to retain his seat today, uh, I believe with a slight increased majority. And he said, uh, well, you can read it on the screen now, Theresa May can't now negotiate Brexit for Britain. Uh, she told us losing a majority will destroy her authority. And it has. Most of it, in fact, almost all of southern England, apart from London and a few of the more urban areas, has gone conservative. The SNP have held it by two votes. They literally held it by two votes. Um, the final tallies for us um, are 313 for Conservatives and 260 to Labour, uh, with the SNP on, I think, 35 there. So that brings an end to our general election 2017 coverage. And thank you very much to you for watching, whether you've tweeted us, whether you've sent us information in, and all of you who've been there with us all night. Thank you very much. We're off to bed or to the pub, and we'll leave you to enjoy your morning. Thank you very much, and good night. Good night.